All right, I know what you're gonna say. Jack, you still have to watch World's Strongest. Another movie, and I will. I just haven't on, on my Twitch stream yet. I wanted to dip our toes in a little bit into the Cell Saga. We're back with more DBZ Abridged. As always, Team Four Stars, the first link down in the description below. Go check out the original series and support those beautiful people. Let's get started with episode 31 of DBZ Abridged. I actually don't know how the Cell Saga even starts. We were just renting this house. We never meant to. Oh my. Who are these people? Yes, though this rain may wash these fools away, the blood that soon shall flow, no storm shall meet the task. I will cover this world in a darkness so thick and chilly. Wait, the, rival the dead the zone. Hell in which I spent all those years. Brace your brittle self. It's garlic. For I, garlic junior. Shall soon rule Sorry, you Garlic are. Jr. He's back? Why? Wait, is this like... Why is Krillin dripped out? Wait, is this canon? So what's happening in this intro? My God! I lost! Curves! Wait, what is happening? Is this another arc? Did we do another arc before so? Mount Palzu. There is a breed of Palzu tuna hmm. clinging at life in its saltwater habitat. Oh, yes. Fist near to extinction by the inhabitants, they are slowly making headway back to a sustainable population. Oh, beautiful. Until fishing occurs. Sweet, salty Christ, no. Is that Krillin in the suit? Go on. Going fishing? Yep. With that gone, I'm the breadwinner now. Well, what's with the weird clothes, Krillin? Uh, 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 my name is no longer Krillin. My new name is Juan Sanchez. I'm compelled to ask why. Well, before we left for Namek, I took out a huge life insurance policy on myself and left it all to my twin brother. But you don't have a twin... My goodness, Krillin is five head! Sanchez? And it paid off in triple because I died off planet. All right. Does insurance fraud exist in the Dragon Ball Z universe? They said, don't worry, there's no way you're gonna die out in space. <laughs> Show them! Well, I'm still gonna call you Krillin. So, what do you think of my new- The car! car! Yeah, it's a nice car, I guess. Uh, okay, uh, this is gonna be another opportunity for you to explain what actually happens. This- this is my best guess, is that Krillin is done with the, you know, fighting, e fighting evildoers life, and he wants to, you know, be a businessman, find, uh, you know, settle down. Not what I was referring to. Juan, I broke a nail. Can I have a thousand dollars? You can have two. Gohan, I am an excellent boyfriend. Krillin, how did you meet this woman? We met at the bank. I was there picking up my life insurance money, and she was there depositing her money for my night <laughs> job. I think she's a Wait, waitress or what? something because she was depositing a lot of fives and ones. And me and my dear, sweetie little chestnut fell deeply, truly in love. Krillin fell in love with a stripper! She says I have a very rich personality. And a wealth of knowledge. And her Hey, I mean, can you blame the man? I, I, it's her as big as my head. She's a drawing. She's a drawing. She's a drawing. I have made the comparison. So, and her boobs are as big as my head. I have made the comparison. So, you going to the party tonight? I don't know. Mom wasn't a huge fan of that Walking Dead theme party. Previously on TFS is <laughs> The Walking Dead. <laughs> oh my. I, think I can make it. See you there, Gohan. Goodbye, Gonad. See you at Master Hoshi. Gonad. <laughs> Master. Say she a gold. They're a good couple. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I'm glad he found himself someone. He deserves someone. About buying a house. Oh yeah. Even if she is a gold digger. You ever think about buying a house? Oh yeah. Let me get right on that with all that money I don't have. Well, you ever thought about getting a job? I'm a green slug man. No amount of affirmative action is going to get me a job. Oh, okay. just... dude, listen. Isn't a dog the president? Say so. By the way, that old guy's been standing there for like 15 it's minutes. Kami. Maybe you should say something. Uh, fine. What do you want, Kami? Mr. Popo has kicked me off the lookout for the night. <laughs> Apparently, he has a booty call. <laughs> jinx, jinx, jinx. Shut up, bitch. You love it. Last time he did this, I found five corpses. What? He laughed when I said five. Well, what do you want from me? I was hoping I could stay at your house. I don't have a house. See what I tell you? Shut up, Nail. Is someone in there? Hello, Kami. He can't hear you. Actually, I can. 
Hello there. Okay, by by this point in the show, though, like Nail had actually been completely absorbed, right? Like there was he wasn't able to like actually like communicate with Piccolo, right? Who are you? This is like a running joke. I'm Nail. I'm a Namekian Piccolo. Fused I'm with Nail. Dynamic. You do know that technique is forbidden, Piccolo. Your face is forbidden. <laughs> Sadly, that was the best one up here. Shut it now! <laughs> <laughs> so, nice of you to bring your new girlfriend here, Juan. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. At first, we kind of thought you brought home a hooker. Yamcha! Oh, we did? I can assure you that my <laughs> darling, beautiful Marin is no hooker. Well, that depends. Sometimes I take extra cash in the back room, but those are always under the table, so I don't think they count. How much extra? How much you got? <laughs> oh, I am a professional baseball player. Okay, first off, no one screws Yamcha but life. Second of all, <laughs> but life. blue hair, real original. Third, Juan, don't you have any other friends you can take Marin to meet? Well, we saw Gohan. Or Wait, so you guys explain this from the... I hate to be a pausing parry. You guys explain this from the cooler movie. So, Marin is like his girlfriend, but his daughter's name is eventually Marin too you said I don't know earlier but he was busy pounding the tuna what with Goku gone Chi Chi needs someone to do it <laughs> That's disgusting. we also stopped by Corin and Yajirobe's but this brunch is delicious Yajirobe thank you I cooked everything myself so if you two had babies would they be little fat men or kitties and we are leaving <laughs> probably fat kitties I don't think I'll be taking her back there again I hate that as a canonic couple in terms of the the bridge universe happy birthday thank you Thank you all so Aww. much for remembering my 1,000th birthday and for this marvelous cake. Isn't That's beautiful. That kind of a fire hazard? Well, of course, Turtle. You're our very best friend. My birthday was last week and I didn't get a party. <laughs> You've been there for us from the very beginning. Anyone remember when I saved the world from peel off? Like a member of the family, I say. Seriously, I live upstairs. Justice oh for Oolong. So long. Not whoever's birthday it is, a turtle. Can I have a turtle? Sure. Oh, can it be this turtle? Of course. Wait, what? Turtle, be my wingman on this one. If I get some, I swear to God, I will send you pictures. Deal. Seriously, <laughs> want to blow this out before something catches on. Deal. My glorious beard, no! Why is Krillin the new MC? <laughs> hey Krillin! I guess cause- What are you doing out here? Cause Goku's technically- Why gone. aren't you upstairs sleeping with your girlfriend like everyone else? Oh, hey turtle. I'm just up thinking to myself. Does the turtle actually talk? What you thinking about? It's just- I'm Cause this is how I picture his voice being. Not sure if Marin loves me for who I really am. Aww. It's all presents and traveling and caviar and- Beluga? No, Pauzu tuna. Well, that's rare. And it's just, oh, I just rare. don't know if she loves Juan or Juan's money. How much money do you have? Uh, about 5.7 million. Didn't you get me a gift card from the Gap? Not what <laughs> we're talking about. Okay, look, if she really does love you for who you are, then you have to tell her the truth. Open up to her. It's the only way. Based turtle. Are you sure that'll work? Well, if it doesn't, you could always get her a giant pearl. What? Bitch is a gold digger. <laughs> he swung back okay, around. First we're going to go by Lush because all of their soaps <laughs> look like cakes and I want to eat them. Oh, and I hope oh you remember to make those gosh. reservations for Le Nuit Serre at 7.30. I hear they're very uptight. And can I really go through with this? She seems so happy. No, no, Krillin. Stop. Great googly moogly. Heart-shaped pillow of an ass. Tonight, you will tell her. And then you will tap that. Please tap God. that. <laughs> oh my oh god. I just love nice walks on the beaches. Oh, do you think if I swam out far enough, I'd reach Australia? <gasps> oh my god. Can we go on a sandals vacation? You Listen, have to do Marin, it, Krillin. Come on. I need to talk to you. Now or never. Oh, don't worry, Wonton. I made the reservations what for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Actually, I need to come clean. See, my name isn't actually Juan Sanchez. It's Krillin. That is a silly name. <gasps> I'll call you Krilly Billy. <laughs> That's not everything. You see, all this money I own is actually from my own life insurance policy. 
from when I died on another planet, blown up by an evil space emperor, but was then brought back to life by a magical dragon. It's gonna go whoosh. Uh huh. But what I really want to ask Marin is do you love me for me? Or do you just love me for my money? Oh, Krilly Billy. Of course I don't just love you for your money. He's gonna say what he wants to hear. You really mean that? I never loved you at all. Oh. Well, can we at least still try the sex stuff? No, Krillin, you don't understand. I was never really your girlfriend. See, I'm with the state's fraud bureau and you just confessed to a lot of insurance. No! Fraud. <laughs> Wait, you have a recorder on you? Where? In my boobs. Curses! The one place I couldn't reach! I'm going to prison, aren't I? Well, normally you would, but do you have any idea what they do to guys like you? No, you'll just have to pay back everything you owe. Wait, what about all the money I spent on you? You'll just have to pay that out of pocket. Bro, what? 500 grand on you! Honey, I work for the government. I never claim to be a good person. <laughs> Amen, sister. <laughs> and that's why I need a place. I was waiting for place it. to stay. Hell, go blow up the air mattress. I do have to admit, though, it's nice being a free man again. No women nipping at my heels. Oh. Know what I mean? <gasps> oh. All right. I demand to know who has been spreading rumors that I've been forcing Gohan to, and I quote, <laughs> pound my tuna. Look, Chi Chi, <laughs> if it really upsets you, we'll all take turns uh, pounding your tuna, okay? Oh, my. But only if we get to eat it together. <laughs> Is that Roshi? Are you guys have said Roshi's like kind of, kind of pervy. Oh my gosh. I was about to say it's Popo. -po. I'd recognize that voice anyway. Oh. He's here! Sprawling Jr. Clean that up. I beg your pardon? And it's staring right into the eyes of a god. That simple little head of yours, who you're speaking to. Oh, please, do go on. I am the usurper of this once proud throne your worthless guardian holds so dear. I am Garlic Jr., returned from the wretched abyss known as the Dead Zone. And I have come for what's rightfully mine. What's going on? I don't remember releasing the black one I missed just yet. Oh, God! <laughs> Mr. Popo, I'm back, and I, oh my me, what happened to the lookout? Oh, don't mind this, Kami. I just had a bit of Italian for dinner. What does that have to do with- Cause it was nothing but garlic! Every day we stray further and further from God. What a beautiful reintroduction into the, the main series. Again, I'm gonna have to have some insane explaining down in the comments about what actually goes on with Krillin and this girl, because the context of that has to be just beautiful. But that's it for this one. Drop us up if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one.